two, one, go. Alright, so welcome everyone to Super Metroid Rotation. This is a ROM hack um, created last year that rotates the game 90 degrees to the right. And that's about it. And you're left to complete the game like this. It's pretty fun. It's it's quite a relief actually to play this after the uh, regular any percent grind on uh, vanilla Super Metroid. And I guess what's great about this is a lot of the rooms that were once really difficult are super easy in this. Um, for example, the return of this, this is called the climb. And in regular any percent, it's really, really difficult and it's a real test of a spinner to get good wall jumps. And in this, you just run to the side. And we have these awesome elevators. Um, so early game is pretty much the same, we're going to get the same few items, morph ball, missiles, uh, bombs and super missiles. After that things do change up a bit, we do a different boss order than any percent, uh, Super Metroid. And there's a few interesting tricks, like that for example, um, Unlike the Game Boy Metroid games, in Super Metroid the doors take a while to open, so you'll see me shooting the doors as early as I can. And if you watched a run of this before, I used to get seven energy tanks, um, but the route has changed recently, and now we're actually only going to get three. I should uh, mention that I believe we are doing save and kill the animals, so if you do have any donations, please do get them in. And it would help if I cut through that. So yeah, hey, you just you just run and shoot. There's nothing to it. But other, other rooms that were once pretty difficult are actually, um, oh sorry, what, that were easy, were actually pretty brutal in this hack. There's two rooms in particular coming up that are very unforgiving if you miss even a single wall jump. Uh, this room on the way back. Have BT in the position that he's in there. Yeah, that was a good fight and so as we go into this room, I'm going to try and play it a bit safe. Because if you get hit by them bugs that home in on you, they knock you down and it becomes pretty much impossible to get back up without killing the bugs after that point. And you also saw a platform in that room, an extra platform. There are a couple of changes that are, I wouldn't say necessary, but the creator of this, Smiley, he added them to remove soft locks and make the game, I guess, more fun to play um, and more open to newer players. Uh, at this point, the game is pretty much free of soft locks, I believe. And there is a lot of wall jumping in this hack. If you love wall jumping, uh, be sure to check this out. And so coming up is the second brutal room. Um, again, if you miss a wall jump, pretty much screwed. So hopefully that won't happen. Uh, 
Uh, them waivers patterns can be pretty unpredictable, so if you fall down there, um, you can't really get back up without killing them. And that went perfectly. So I guess I should start to explain Moonfall. Uh, you saw me enable Moonwalk at the start um, about a month and a bit ago, uh, one to two months ago. A couple of very knowledgeable people in the Super Metroid community called Snick and ED found out this trick where if you enable Moonwalk and then you jump off a ledge backwards, you have no fall speed cap. And in vanilla Super Metroid, you can actually use it in... Well, I'd say two rooms, you can use it in more, but... It saves about eight seconds, but in this, because most of the rooms are more vertical than horizontal, it saves a lot more time and you can do a lot more with it, as you'll see in the room after this one. It's debus down there. So this is Moonfall. And that's the easiest one and the smallest one. And you saw me clip through the door. Um, what you need to do for that to happen is one frame Samus needs to be before the door and then the next frame she needs to skip over all the pixels of the door, which I believe is 16. So you need to build up sufficient speed. And you'll also see me adjust my position in some moonfalls move coming up to try and clip through more doors. And so we've actually taken a little detour here and we've come all this way just for this one item, which I'd argue is the most important item in this hack. And that's high jump. You, It is possible to skip it, but you lose a lot of time and... Shoot. <laughs> and the hack is just so much easier and more fun and faster with high jump, so... We actually backtrack just to get this item. And now we go all the way back to Fantoon. Do we have any donations to read out, by the way? Well, sorry, we were not really like paying attention because we were <laughs> learning how to. But, uh, well, we're live. Wow, we have a $105 anonymous donation, save the animals. And then there's a $25, hey Farrell, good luck on the run. Um, UKSM can't come soon enough and we can't hang out again. Um, then there's a $5 donation from Sidak. Let's save some children, put this towards naming the warrior in Final Fantasy 1. Good luck to all runners and keep up the good work. Then there's a $15 donation, Jill Best Waifu. And then there's a $500 donation from Anonymous. Good luck, Feral 5X, on the SM rotation run. And as always, kill the animals. Thank you. So now we get power bombs. Um, and then we're coming up to Oceanfall, um, which thanks to Moonfall has changed slightly. Um, if I can do it correctly, we're actually going to fall all the way down into the wrecked ship, looking through all the doors. So. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm actually going to farm these and hope for a, at least one power bomb drop. Yes, I got one. That reduces the RNG from Dragon. Uh, from, from Doom. Not sure if I got this. Yes. And there we go. So you saw me turn around five times and aim down. That was actually just to... Every time you turn around, you budge Samus down a few pixels, but you don't stop her speed when moonfalling. So I was just adjusting the position so that I... Samus, like, missed the door. The 16 pixels for the door. The faster you go, the more lenient it is. And this is Fantoon. It's going to give me slow patterns. Oops. Fantine actually took 19 shots in a super missile to kill. Might as well save my super missiles at that point. <laughs> So we've got past Fantine, so already this is a great marathon run. Some pretty decent drops. It's important to have five power bombs at this point because these save so much time. As you can see, I can use them to clear out the box there. And again here. So we've talked a lot about Moonfall, but Samus isn't the only one that's learnt Moonfall, if you pay attention here. These Key Hunters executing it perfectly. An Attic is one of them rooms where if you're playing this blind, you're going to have a, a tough time. Where is that key hunter? Shout out to Jack879 for teaching me that little D-boost there. And this is why high jump is important because I can only just reach these ledges here and without high jump to get out of the wrecked ship would take a long time because you would have to wall jump up the ceiling very slowly underwater. And a nice little moonfall here. So as you can see, moonfall is pretty important for this hack. Um, whereas it only saves eight, a little over eight seconds in normal Super Metroid, so... I guess it's if you want to take up speedrunning this, it's important to learn it. It's not difficult. It's
So I said we had a, a different boss order to what you'd normally see. The boss order is actually Fantoon, Dragon, Ridley, then Crade. Uh, you saw me pass by Crade's Lair twice. We're going to pass it by again. I accidentally selected misses. And that's because it, it, having all the items makes Crade Lair a lot faster. It's tough if I can get in the gap. No, I missed. It doesn't save much time, that, but it's pretty nice if you can make it in the gap. Oops. Now we're going to farm up and get to Dragon. If we have any more donations, we can read them out now. We do indeed. We have a $5 donation from Mineral115 saying, Love the Super Metroid run. I'd love to put this donation towards rotating the animals. Good luck, Feral and Matey Cakes. Unfortunately, that was the only one we can read, like, right now, but do remember that uh, keep those donations uh, coming, they're all going towards Save the Children. And for 20 euros, we ca uh, dollars? I, well, what came that for? Uh, we can water the plant and give the plant a new name. So here we collect the last energy tank we are going to get in this run. Which makes Lower North a uh, pretty brutal. There's a fly on my face. It's important not to turn around there because you can accidentally clip into the door there. And you can also K go through those Ghidorah eye doors. Um, you can't do it through any other door, only the boss doors. And I move left here to fix the camera so I can see when they disappear so I know when to start shooting. see that little blob get me, but that's fine. And now we head to Lower North Air, and that's when the, this run gets pretty interesting. First we have to pick up a few power bombs. We are still using the standard power beam at the moment. Um, we're now going to get our first beam pickup. Oh. 
And now first pick up is Plasma Beam. I need to also watch my health at this point. I don't intend to low an offer with too little health. So then wall pirates are actually different to the ground pirates. The wall pirates can be damaged with missiles and super missiles. Uh, the ground ones can only be damaged with plasma beam. And this is very good health now. So I, I don't think I ever mentioned the other changes that were made to the hack. Uh, you'll, you'll probably notice the crumble blocks and the shot gates are either removed or changed um, because they don't work sideways. So rather than recoding it, the decision was made to just change or remove them. And it actually opens up this hack quite a lot and allows for a different routing because you can enter Meridia and Lower North uh, through the back entrance. Gonna go and pick up two more beam pickups, uh, ice, and then wave. You notice the transition there, the door moved to the, to the side. I've been fixing a lot of them throughout the run. I've been jumping in doors in certain positions. Uh, that's to fix the, the scroll, stop the doors from scrolling. Um, but that's one that I cannot fix that ice beam door because the gates, you need to beat the gate. Oh, I think the gate's actually shut if you enter from the other side anyway. Like, they're shut when you enter. Small moonfall here. I'm actually going to bonk that door because during practice I accidentally messed the graphics up at that point. Uh, moonfall can not only be used to skip doors, but you can also use it to get out of bounds and mess the graphics up. Um, so I've actually been doing pretty precise setups. Moonfall down there, but muscle memory got the better of me. <laughs> and that's it. We're going to head to Lower North uh, with exactly what we have now. I don't think we pick up any more items. One notable item that you probably notice isn't got in this is Speed Booster. It's got in every other speed run, I think, but in this it just doesn't save any time, so we just skip it entirely. There's just nowhere to charge a spark. So 
So even though the room is rotated, water and lava and acid still follow the laws of gravity, so they sink to the bottom. And the game doesn't actually calculate how much lava or acid should be in a room, it actually calculates how much air should be in a room. So you'll notice in some of the rooms there's a lot more lava than there is in the vanilla game. Uh, that's because it, the game just calculates how much air is needed in the room and then fills the rest with the liquid. That is a nice platform. Oops. <laughs> Let's just go across that. So that room is when you play any blind, as quite a few of us in the Super Metroid community did, that room catches you out. Because you just suddenly enter and you're you have all the lava and acid and you cannot find the way out because it's hidden above the screen. And Ridley is pretty much a joke in this. <laughs> He's stuck to the left. <laughs> and that should be it. <laughs> That's Ridley. And there I had to morph to reduce my hitbox so that I clipped through that door. And we just kill those pirates. Um, it doesn't really save much time not killing them, so. And now we're free of low and off air. Health is actually surprisingly good. Um, when I was practicing about an hour ago, oops, I was actually leaving low and off air with very little health. And 
Base jump has really awkward cooldown frames. If you're underwater, you can repress jump. I think it's every four frames, but if you're not in water, it's every 40. Uh, it makes it really awkward to use. Got it. That's actually a pretty difficult trick to space jump all the way through there. And now my favourite part of the hack is Quizzler. We're actually going to attempt something here. This worked. We are going to skip cred. Perry is who first. Which doesn't really save any time because you just have to fight him on the way back. That's a pretty neat trick there to avoid falling all the way down by landing on the enemy. Hopefully we'll get this full first try because we only have two power bombs to play with. That one's good. Yes. If I missed that, I'd have had to go all the way back up to Red Tower. jumps is pretty bad in this because you just fall all the way down. Small graphical glitch there. Use a power bomb to stop the key hunter there from just dive bombing us and knocking us all the way down.
and into the golden two. And a lot of people ask why there's only two here, and that's because the way the Super Nintendo or gets around this, or the way Super Metro gets around the sprite limit, uh, two of these statues are sprites, and two are background layer two. So two of them got rotated, and two didn't. And that's also why you see Kraid's body when you entered the room, if those of you that noticed. Because Kraid's body is actually background layer 2, I believe, and so is Crocomire's body. And so the sprites are just the hands and head. Do you have any more donations, by the way? Uh, yes, I have a one dollar anonymous donation. I agree with rotating the animals, as long as that also means killing them. And that was it. Actually, that's pretty sad. We should get more donations. I tried to move all there, but I missed it, but it's no big deal. Gonna rush through them hoppers. Um, me and Leodox, when we were racing this, used to have a tough time with that hopper there. Um, it's actually really hard to get through the door. Metroid skip is impossible, sadly. There's no known way to do it in rotation. So here's one last change that Smiley made to this hack is these Zebatites can actually be killed with beams. Because usually we would use a Zebatite skip to get through them, but obviously it doesn't work vertically. And I can't get through there. in a tighter space. I deliberately took a hit by the bomb there because I knew the ketchup was coming. Previous runs of this, I used to do stand up glitch where I could damage my brain during this phase, but 
because I only get three energy tanks now, it meant I had to pick up various suit and I can no longer do stand up. Don't have enough energy tanks to do it. where we say goodbye to the bit of Metroid. Bible fun. So, do we have an update on save and kill? Oh, yes. Um, it's like uh, kill is leading with $543 and save is behind with $345. So, uh, yeah, killing is uh, the way that we go, I guess. Which is good, that means we will have stuff for our barbecue later on, but you can also still donate like $200 or something to make, save the animals win, and uh, I don't know, does that make the animals children? Let's kill them so we can, like, give sexy Samus something to do. Goodbye, animals. Oops. <laughs> Time. So, while the credits are rolling, I'd just like to give a shout out to Smiley who made this hack and everyone at MetroidConstruction.com for all the hard work they put into these. There's so many amazing hacks, you guys should definitely check them out. I believe they put rotation on the main site now if anyone wants to play it, even casually. Uh, yeah, thanks to ESA for having me here and to everyone in the Super Metroid speedrunning community. If anyone wants to get into Super Metroid speedrunning, uh, check us out on Discord, um, we're all a friendly bunch of people, we'll help you out and teach you anything you need to know. Alright, and uh, I do have another final donation for you, $1 Anonymous saying, the animals show up in fusion whether we save them or not, so what's the point of saving them? Kill those little buggers! We have time for wait, to wait for Dear Force, or are we ending? No. Uh, I think we can let the credits roll, can't we? Cool. Actually, a trick was missed here. The credit should be rotated. Oh god, get a new rotator. 
Who wants to see anti-rotation in Super Metroid? <laughs> Alright, it looks like we're ending now, so thanks everyone for watching and enjoy the rest of the marathon. Alright, and uh, yeah, that was the um, Metroid Rotation Run. Um, we are your hosts for this intermission. Uh, Susie. Alco. And the grapes that we are, have been eating during the run. And a we'll nice continue little eat. plant where you can still donate for. Yes. And um, I can spray it with my little water can. And yeah, we found out earlier, we highly recommend donating $20 to give the plant a shower because uh, it seems pretty dry. So yeah, I felt it. It's, it's definitely like... looking for some water. Um, yeah, in case you haven't noticed by that uh, huge sign at the top of your uh, screen, this is the European Speedrunner uh, speed Assembly. I was back in 2015 there for a second. The European Speedrunner Assembly 2017. You are watching a charity of benefiting Save the Children. Yeah, uh, soon up the next game, that will be 007, Agent Under Fire. So, yeah, some James Bond action is to be expected. Always nice, James Bond. Yep. Although it's not as nice as Sexy Samus, though. But you, you do get your martini in the James Bond oh, game. Oh, yeah. That, so that, that, that's also a great thing to have. Um, yeah. Nice. You, you, yeah. You do get your yeah, we could we could try and talk a little bit about uh, who made this event possible. I mean, one of those uh, great companies that helped support us is uh, Elgato Gaming. Yeah. They, they for did. example, uh, gave us the stream decks uh, for prizes. They also sourced most of the new streaming PCs. They have an on-site presence right here, and yeah, they are pretty cool for supporting us in the way they have. Yeah, they did a lot of like give giving shit and uh, yeah, like tech is working well due to things that they gave us, well gave us, donated us, like uh, sponsored us, that's the better word. Yeah. And then we also have, of course, we have Twitch, so yeah. On which you are hopefully watching this like right now, because if you're not watching it on the Twitch, you should go to Twitch and watch it there. Yeah, <laughs> otherwise it would be like, uh, not so yeah, good. Yeah, uh, not, 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 not. I mean, you can still like grab the Twitch with, with some kind of RTMP stream viewing thing, but, but you should watch on Twitch because yeah. then you will have a Twitch chat and that would be cool as well. 
Yeah, and then we have some um, like other sponsors like uh, Sigma, yes. um, which gave um, well they they made the gaming PCs that are here uh, possible. Without them, there would not be much gaming going on. So well, a little bit because some people still bring their own laptops, but yeah, it, it would be not quite as much and uh, a lot less. And we also have. Uh, uh, I'll probably pronounce this wrong because it is uh, Swedish and should be pronounced as Swedish, but uh, the, the shop is called El Giganten. That was pretty close, I guess. I mean, I don't like, know. I've never heard a Swede pronounce it. Oh, I heard Morel pronouncing it, so oh, it was okay. kind of okay. the same, so I guess. So if Morel does it that way, then I trust I'm on the right track. Anyway, they provided mechanical keyboards, gaming mice, gaming chairs, and uh, GPUs for the high-end PCs. So yeah, that's also pretty cool of them. And of course, the city Vecchio. I, I oh, hope yeah, I well, that no, uh, <laughs> we, were, we were just playing Mafia <laughs> earlier, and uh, we figured out the perfect way to actually say the city. Um, the, the the correct way is just to say that. <coughs> that is uh, absolutely ah, that closest sense. to like the <laughs> Swedish pronunciation. Uh, I think that yeah, yeah, as far as yeah, they um, the city of Vecchio. They supported us by uh, yeah. Making it possible that the venue is held right here in the Fort Knox arena of the Quo. So yeah, they're they're also pretty cool. Like, if you watch now, it's like okay, there's not many people around, but like if you watch like European prime time, there's a lot of people here. We could not do it without this gigantic hall. Yep, it's definitely worth it and everything because in case you're wondering in case you do not have a time zone uh, watch in front of you or in case you do not want to check out the bottom right of your screen where it says our local time it is 3 a.m. in the morning so yeah it might not even be that weird that there is nobody else uh, watching like right here well uh Yes, it's pretty and, late. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what we can also do to remind you right here and right now uh, is, yeah, we are benefiting uh, Save the Children as uh, a charity. And I mean, you've possibly seen quite a few of these, but um, yeah. We're we'll going to give you some more. We're just going to give you another ad, I think. Hey! Right, has everybody got their banners ready? Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. Brilliant. And um, we'll be up front with this one, which I think says it all. What has aid ever done for anyone? Nothing. 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 Fair trade chocolate. What? Fair trade chocolate. Aid has helped us get that, right? <laughs> <laughs> OK, all right. Some chocolate. Brilliant. But apart from a bit of chocolate, what has aid ever actually done for anyone. Sanitation. Sanitation. Education. What? Educating people. No, he's right about that, actually. Five million kids are educated as a result of British aid. Vaccinations. Well, yes, obviously, vaccinations. That goes without saying. He is right again, and there's a massive one that I just can't remember. But what has aid actually ever... Oh, I've got it! ...help stop five million kids dying from horrible diseases such as malaria, Pneumonia, and that one that you always get, Dave. Diarrhea? That's it, before their fifth birthday. All right, OK, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, yeah, sorry, polio. Yeah, AID has nearly eradicated polio across the globe. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that yeah, is that's great. great. OK, yeah. but apart from those... Yeah. Natural disasters. Basically, it's the AID and the AID organisations that go in there help sort the AID. Absolutely. All right, I get it. Any other smart ask got anything to add? No? OK, so what have we got? Apart from providing clean water and sanitation for two million people, enabling five million children to go to school, vaccinating over 80 million children against killer diseases, helping to stop people dying from preventable illnesses, nearly eradicating polio, and responding to 32 natural disasters across the globe in the last year, the big question is, what has aid ever actually done for anyone? Created financial growth, diminished terrorism, help bring peace and democracy. Oh, shut up! Hey, huh. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing apart from. 
from those things that are on the side there. Ready, oh, good gosh. What, what is it? And that technically puts us back on uh, the uh, screen. Um, after Susie's done stretching, she is now sitting up straight again and uh, looking good yeah. and everything because she has stretched. Well, looking good. Well, okay. Uh, it's quite li late, so. No, well, you're looking good for, enough for, for the hour. For the hour, yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, definitely, definitely. I can pass. Like, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. just like yeah. that. Just yeah. barely passed it. Um, yeah, we have to wait a little for the runner because he was occupied doing some 007 secret agent stuff. And um, yeah, we're just yeah, flying him in from uh, uh, was, was it Colombia right now? Yeah, uh, he with, was with on a top secret uh, secret mission, um, hopefully saving children. Uh, but we do not have uh, the final confirmation. But we have been assured by Tech that he will be here any moment soon. Yeah. And then you'll be able to get your agent under fire on, uh, yeah, hopefully soon. Yeah, I'm kind of missing the music. Where is the music gone? That is a good question, why I don't hear any music. It was fun to dance on, but I forgot. it's gone. But yeah, I'll go. Did you have fun yes, at e this e event? Oh, yes, I <laughs> always have fun at this event, even though... This event, for some reason, I managed to almost not play a single video game, and I still <laughs> had fun. Uh, yeah, I know the feeling. Like I like I barely watch the stream. Sorry, guys, but there's so much stuff to do here. It's like yep. it's so much fun. I'm playing board games all day. I'm yeah. playing mafia all day. Oh yeah, mafia is yeah, going fact, on. People have told me that. Uh, no, have actually asked me. Hey, Alco, have I seen you anywhere other than the mafia hall, or have you actually left the mafia hall in the last 48 hours? Can we press one of those? Which one? This one? No, this one. <laughs> I'm testing buttons. Yeah, we have a really cool stream deck here, which should be doing cool things. Uh, yeah, it's not doing. Yeah, and which we hope does cool things. And uh, you know, this? pressing no. buttons. <laughs> but in the end, I think it's also kind of could be like. <laughs> If we were to press this one now, now we have each other. Now, oh. now we have us in like full Ooh. screen rather than the uh, other the thing. Small and uh, yeah, we now actually have our names as well because, um, yeah. I mean, we said who we were, but you know, you might want to see it anyway. And it's gone, which is yeah, also it's good. gone again. No stalkers. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is seeing me under the false nationality. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. I'll drink some more tea. Oh, tea time. This is uh, also something very ESA. Yes, yes. Uh, practically having a fika all day. Swedes will know what I'm talking about if they're not in bed because, as I said, 3 a.m. Yeah, it's like, hmm. Okay, tech is still going on. Like Everything's still going 007 on. Our 007 guy arrived on this helicopter. So, oh, okay. he's waving at us. Oh, cool. they're raving. Hi. Okay, Hi. hello. So uh, we have confirmation that uh, the guy we need is going to be here soon. So you'll you'll get your your 007 uh, run, run soon. Yeah. Oh. Fika, this is something really good. It's like drinking, just just eating sweets. Eh, actually, yeah. like like having having coffee uh, or tea in uh, my case or Susie's case um, and. Uh, Having great things to go with it. Um, in Sweden, you would call them Karnel uh, In other countries, you might call it Karapusti uh, instead, uh, which I think is wow. a much better name. That's just the same thing in Finnish. Oh, yep. oh, okay. Finnish is such an impossible language. Well, uh, I can pronounce it better than Swedish because, uh, yeah, the other one is Swedish. Yeah, yeah but yeah, you know. Swedish. But anyway, yeah. it's also always a good idea to just sit down, chat with people, have a drink, it, have it something is, sweet. It is. Yeah. It is like, yeah. And like, it's very sweet here, like to sit upstairs, talk to people, talk what's Ooh. going on. Like I like that connection you just drew along the sweet. Ooh, that was almost <laughs> funny. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> almost. Yeah, I'm not funny at all. Like, I'm just trying. 
Oh, I, I, I like that. Come on. That, that was... I mean, it wasn't yeah. yet quite uh, the number and uh, frequency of puns that I gave uh, this morning. I think that was this morning during um, Paper Mario Sticker Star, uh, which was a pretty cool run, and it featured the biggest fan and everything. Uh, that was uh, so many opportunities for puns, but that was uh, good given the uh, situation that we were in, oh, which okay. wasn't that pun-friendly, to be honest. I really like need to watch the vault, by the way, from yesterday. Yep. So uh, oh, there okay. is quite something going on. There are things going on. Okay. Um, well, um, yeah. Like apparently yesterday, the the run, um, the my summer car run was really really good. But I was oh, like, that not, was yeah, uh, I was like dying in my bed, so I did not watch the run, but I'm definitely going to watch the vaults. That was so my personal highlight so far. I mean, that, that run was so also awesome. up at like this hour. It was, I think it was three something. And this whole audience area was packed with people watching and enjoying My Summer Car. Uh, and we had uh, two amazing guys provide amazing commentary. Uh, whatever I would say now, mm. it would just spoil it for you. So as soon as this event is over, watch, watch it. that like vault. I really need to watch it myself, but I'm definitely going to watch it. Yes, you like should, you should. They're still setting up, so I think we need to chat some more. Yeah, I think we still can do that. The reminder <laughs> that uh, the plant is looking very dry. And yeah, it's uh, dying. Don't let my plant dry. I had to actually, like, I went to the store with Morel and we bought plants. So please help us maintain it, maintenance it and like let it not die please it is also fitting that we have a plant for um that Creux, which calls itself the greenest city in europe so it would be a big shame if that green plant were to die in the greenest city in europe would it not it would it would and like today i just went out walking and we were so like saving beetles and like i don't know what it was with this today but all the beetles were like upside down on the road okay. so we had to f save them Okay, so, but uh, when we, we, we were playing Mafia earlier, we um, did not save the mosquitoes that uh, tried oh, no, to no, kill no. us. Oh, no, 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 we, no. We killed, we, no, we killed yeah. also, yeah, we yeah. killed the bees on, on other people, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, kill the plants, mm, no, save the plants, kill the animals. I'm so cute. <laughs> oh, stupid. Save the plants, <laughs> save the beetles, <laughs> kill the mozzies, kill the animals. Save the children. Save the children. <laughs> Save the children. <laughs> and oh have man. a barbecue with the killed animals. Oh. So, yeah, you can still, like, donate uh, 20 euros and then... Dollars. Oh, fuck. Dollars. That's what happens <laughs> if you live in, 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 in her case, uh, Belgium. Oh, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, you can help me and water the plant for like by donating and give it uh, another name then I don't even know what it is something Cag stupid. Cagpea it Cag says. Cag pee. Whatever okay. it is supposed to be. So yeah, I uh, think I tech will wave at us uh, as yeah, soon as they're ready. I, they're, so like, yeah, they're still pretty, jumping back and forth. Close. At least we can see uh, an image but of there's thing going what on looked there. like James Bond on the TV screen. So we can hope that it's not going to be that long. Yeah, we can only hope. <laughs> I hope for you guys that it goes on. So, um, yeah, if you hate the name, CACP, like, you can definitely give it a new, a new name. Like, it's going to be better. Come on, guys. You can do better than that. Yeah, definitely. But, okay. Um... I know this is Twitch chat. You can also do worse, but you can do better. I, I trust in you. I trust in you. Well, me. do I, I trust, trust Twitch chat? That's the question. Me. And I do love my grapes. They're good, and I'm thankful that you brought them here because uh, that way um, I have something to eat during. Alko, you're so lucky that you can touch the grapes. Why Normally, am I so I'm lucky? pretty like protective but today i'm feeling like very uh well thank you for uh allowing me to touch 
and even eat these grapes. Okay, they're still busy, so um, yeah, we need to like <laughs> carry on somehow. Uh, yeah, oh, ooh, we actually oh. do have a $20 donation, uh, which we can use to give the plant a shower. So, uh, Susie, would you please uh, give Definitely. the plant a shower? I will give the plant some love. The $20 donation was made by Anonymous, and it says, love the girl's spirit. Well, thank you. Wow, what a shower it was. Yep. There we go. Thank you very much once again for donating. We have a um, overall grand total of donations of uh, 61,000, and I just didn't see the other three digits, which are <laughs> somewhere else. Somewhere. Um, I have to tell you as well that these donations are being matched up to a total of $45,000. So um, there have been $30,744 of you donators watching the stream. Thank you very, very much for that. And a sponsor who wishes to remain anonymous has guaranteed us that up to a total of $45,000, these donations will be matched one-to-one, -one, which is why the total of $61,488 in the bottom left corner that you see is including the donation matching. Thank you very much to the donor, um, to the kind soul who wishes to stay anonymous. You're helping make this event even greater. Uh, don't forget that there are like uh, things going on, like uh, goals and uh, bit wars. Um, we have a lot of uh, goals going on, and uh, you can kind of help it like going on or not. So if you want to see cool stuff happening, yeah, you kind of have to donate. Sorry, but it's for a good cause. So uh, there's actually a lot, like a lot of been met, but it's also cool like to see other things like going on. Yeah, for example, there is um, a Final Fantasy run that will be uh, sometime towards the end of this marathon and you can donate for different names and you can also donate uh, for Hellfire Chasm um, as a total um, bid war. And we have quite a few others. I mean, um, Castlevania Soten to have an additional Richter Any Percent run and so on and so forth. Um, for, um, to have a complete overview, I would urge you to donate and check out what you can put your donation to and then put it towards something. You, um, any donation above $20 also gives the plant a shower. Uh, so yeah, that won't be missed. Uh, that goes hand in hand and together. What I really would like to see going on, and it's almost there, is The Lion King. Hakuna Matata in Spanish. How awesome would that be? Ooh. Okay. Um, yeah, so that is also going to be a very cool uh, addition, I think, if uh, we hear a Spanish Hakuna Matata. I think it's the Mexican runner. I think it could well be the Mexican runner that does yeah, it. That's So, um, yeah, we are hearing things in our ears, namely that Tech is as good as ready with setting up the runner. They're checking sound at the moment, which means it can't take forever. Although Tech are shaking their heads and thereby implying it could still take forever, but we have belief in Tech that it won't take forever. Um, at least it goes pretty smoothly. I touch wood like I'm not jinxing it like <laughs> this year. <laughs> <laughs> because like last year we had kind of some more issues. Uh, we did we did uh, frequently have issues throughout yeah. all different years, I think. Um, but this year I is think like we have been very much on track this year. I yeah. mean, this this is uh, a very good ESA for keeping the schedule so far. So go go and carry on. It must be all due to the grapes that. We have right here, right now. This was a bad one. I'm not eating that one. Uh, yeah, that one is definitely <laughs> bad. <laughs> I'm gonna take another one. Yeah, sorry. Um, 
We're eating, we're waiting, just like you guys. Sorry for, um, yeah, we need to entertain us, it's our job, so, uh, yeah, sorry. I mean, I hope we are at least mildly entertaining. Uh, I've had uh, worse in the past and probably will have worse in the future. Um, yeah, but uh, if it gets too bad, our excuse is just going to be that it's 3.20 a.m. and it'll stay 3.20 a.m., so, yeah. Uh, no, it will not stay 3.20. It goes eventually oh, yeah, to 4.20. <laughs> oh, very telling. Oh, perfect! We 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 finally get to press yes. the big okay. the big button well, and telling you that it is now double oh seven. Time for a good run. Bye bye. Agent under fire. Yes. All right, sweet. Hello, everyone. Welcome to double seven. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a little late and all that. I woke up kind of late. Because it's expected to be a little bit later, but we already have a schedule, so that happens. <laughs> so, my bad. Thanks for hosting for holding it down in the meantime. Alright, uh, here we go. I just press the big red button when I'm ready? I assume so, at least. Yeah. Alright. Alright, I'll count it down and you know it's my own call. Three, two, one, go. Alright, so, like I said, welcome to Double 7 Agenda Fire for Nintendo GameCube.